I'm here in the Shoelace Wireless booth with uh, uh, some people doing some really, really interesting work. I'd like to introduce An Lee, who got his PhD from UC Irvine, where Steve and I went to school, so he's got to be a good guy. So tell us, what is uh, Shoelace Wireless doing? Uh, so we develop technologies to address the problem of deliver content to mobile device. Say, for example, if you want to watch a YouTube video on your mobile device, 40% of the time it's star and it's buffering. Um, so we, we, we want to try to solve this by increasing the bandwidth. Now, how, how do we do that? Uh, we exploit the opportunities of having multiple networks around you on a single device. Our technologies can combine Wi-Fi and cellular connections uh, to increase the bandwidth. Now, if you're sitting next to your friend or your family member or you have multiple uh, devices on your pockets, we can also combine cellular connections on, your, on those devices. So you now have a bigger pipe to download the content or upload the content. So you're not uh, using one cellular network and then switching over to Wi-Fi. You're saying you're actually combining those signals. Yes, so our technology can use them simultaneously at the same time to increase your bandwidth. Okay, that sounds like black magic. Maybe you can demonstrate it for us and show us what you're talking about. Sure. We're going to go over here to, uh, he's got a couple of Android devices here, a Nexus 7 and a, a Sony phone. Let's see what you're talking about here. Sure. Uh, so in, in this small demo, I will show you uh, these two devices are connected using Bluetooth. And uh, these are the video side that uh, you can go and visit. So now I'm going to go to YouTube and, and to watch a video on YouTube. Uh, so you pick a video here. Um, so right now, this Sony device have a 4G T-Mobile connections. Uh, this device also have a T-Mobile connections. So what happens when you start watching vi the video? This device start pulling the content from YouTube using its all connections. So you can see the speed right here. And but at the same time, this so device that speed, there's audio listeners too. That speed is about one megabit per second. Yeah, about one to two. It, it, up. it depending on the quality of the the link at the time. Uh, but at the same time, this device also pulling YouTube video uh, using its all cellular connection and push the content over. So as a result, this device get the aggregated speed uh, of the two cellular connections. So when he says the other device, for those listening, he's got uh, the Nexus 7 is using its wireless connection yes. and getting 1.56 megabits per second, which is adding to the signal coming in on the Sony phone. Yes, exactly. So the, re the end result is the user can enjoy high definition content without any buffering. As you can see, you already buffer uh, almost uh, the whole video. Wow, and you're saying that's going back and forth over regular Bluetooth? Yes, so right now we have the, uh, the demo here with Bluetooth 2.0, which supports uh, 2 megabit per second. If, if you want, we can also do Wi-Fi, which has a higher bandwidth as well. Sure, sure. So um, right now you're in a public beta, is that correct? So right now we're in a closed beta. Oh, closed beta, uh, okay. And we, we plan to have a public beta in two weeks from now. Oh, wow. Okay, so now right now this is on Android, but you said you're a Mac and uh, an iPhone uh, fan as well, so you're going to see if you can get it to work there too? Yeah, so it's on, it's on our plan. So uh, within three months, we're going to have iOS versions and also on the desktop versions. Excellent, excellent. So the company is Sho Shoelace Wireless. If somebody wanted to learn more about it, where would they go? So shoelacewireless.com, and you can learn all the information about our company there. All right, thank you very much. I really appreciate the interview.